So how are we going to access all of this information, turn things in, and keep track of things? If you haven't figured it out yet, we will be using Google Classroom. So the good news is this year, based on your Tyler schedule, your emails have automatically been added to the Google Classroom. You're able to access your email accounts, of course, and you can uh, navigate it that way. But the easiest thing is actually going to be to just go directly to Classroom and you'll find um, your classes. So if you've never been to Classroom before or it's been a while, you do classroom.google.com. You can also use your waffle iron here next to your picture. You can see the Classroom option is right here. You can see right now I am in my student view and I have two classes I'm enrolled in. So all of your classes will show up and you can find those on those three bars. You'll see here the two classes I'm in. You are most likely in seven classes, um, maybe thereabouts. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on eighth grade art. You might see yours as seventh grade art or sixth grade art. And I have a three assignments listed right now. You will likely have maybe two or three the first time you open this up. You'll notice that some say asynchronous and some say everyone. So if you are joining our Zoom meetings, you're actually gonna have less work to do. So I recommend showing up at our class meetings so that way you can participate in discussions and not have to do the written work instead of that. Um, if it says everyone, that means there is an assignment for everyone. So today it's day three, so I'm gonna click on everyone. Okay, so I can add things to the side here. And when things are done, it'll mark as done. Got it, thank you. So for my asynchronous students, that means those who don't join our Zoom meetings, you have to watch your the Edpuzzle video Others of you already did that um, with me. So all you have to do, see where it says everyone, is to complete the Google Classroom form. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And notice it has my email address here. So you wanna make sure it's showing your email address because that's how you get credit. So make sure you are logged in as yourself just in case a sibling or cousin is using the same um, computer as you and they're logged in, maybe they're in my class. So make sure it's got your name up there. And I'm just going to follow along. The directions are up top. I watch the videos by OK Go and I answer the questions. Be sure to hit turn in assignment when finished. So I'm going to type in my answers. So I'll just put blah, blah. So you can see what happens when I turn something in. Uh, I'm not going to be able to say. They just want to explode some stuff. Blah, blah. Here we go. You will obviously type actual responses, but when I hit submit, there you go. So it's mostly turned in. Here's the key. Go back to Google Classroom, okay? And now my work is turned in. So you should be good. I have a feeling maybe they just do that automatically now. That's awesome. Okay. Um, Hopefully that settles how to use Google Classroom. It looks like they've made some improvements for you all. Good job, Google. When you are back here, so here's all your options. On our main page, or on the main page here, if you have a question for me or you want to share something with the class, um, you can add a post here. And again, of course, your classwork is all in the middle, and then you can view the work that you've turned in. So you can see, okay, this says turned in, these other two have been assigned. And then when you get work back, you'll see it on that side. In addition to Google Classroom, uh, next week in particular, you'll be accessing our class website. And this has uh, lots of additional information if you're just bored at home, want to explore. The link is right here. And I've made a special folder, or well, it's not really a folder, a special button this year that has our distance learning resources. So if I click on that, and you'll see this next week. So week one is welcome. There's really not much in that um, tab. But here, weeks two through three, when we're learning about the studio habits of mine, you're going to get to choose from some videos and watch and, and practice along. But that's how you'll get to that. If you want to check out my class YouTube channel, you can click down here. 
So this has um, the movies that are going to be uh, playing for you all that are part of our slideshows. So everything is connected and you can uh, find pretty much everything everywhere to hopefully make it easier for you. And of course, as you have questions, let me know. But the biggest thing is going to be Google Classroom. So that's the main hotspot. That's where you'll find the slideshows if you, if I went too fast or you missed a class, um, you'll visit those slideshows. And if, of course, you missed a class, then you are responsible for the written work. It'll typically just be giving me answers to openers or responding to some other questions. What are your goals for your diamond art class this year? We might be far apart from each other, but we are still going to be collaborating and working together. Um, we'll take some time. If you're live with me now, we will share some responses. Um, so go ahead and either raise your digital hand or you can raise your actual physical hand and I'll call on you if no one volunteers, then I will be just choosing at random. So what are your goals for your time in art class? If you are joining us later, so you're not live, you're going to have to respond um, using, we're not using Pear Deck anymore, but you'll respond as a Google in the Google Classroom. So here are my goals for you, and hopefully this goes along with what your goals are too. I want you to be able to use art to de-stress and process emotions. We are all feeling a lot of things, and sometimes we don't even know exactly what we're feeling. Um, earlier this morning, my son said he felt sad and surprised and mad all at the same time, and he had to break those down to figure it out. Well, art can do that for us as well, and I hope you can use art as a way to um, relax and to find some joy and uh, process what's going on. I want you to have the skills and abilities to create artwork the way you want to create it. So if that means uh, making better anime, awesome. I want you to figure that out. If that means being able to shade something or paint abstractly or build or be really great at photography or taking and editing videos, I want you to have a chance to try those things out. Sometimes I will give you assignments of specifically what you're going to do. So our our um, next assignment is going to be an exploration period with the habits of mind, but then after that you'll be doing some zentangles, so you'll be working on design work, and I want you to be able to ex explore and enjoy those things. I also want you to learn about and know other successful artists, young artists, artists that look like you, older artists, um, artists that are still alive, artists that have passed away, so that's another good one too. I want you to be able to communicate with others using visual language, so to share your ideas and your thoughts using art. And I want you to be able to connect art to other parts of your life and to connect other parts of your life to art. So the last thing before we go, you are going to do your first official Google Classroom assignment. So I already showed you how to get to Google Classroom. If you're having trouble, I'll be on the Zoom call to help you. You'll go to Google Classroom, you'll go to day three, and it will have that assignment that I demoed. Don't answer, blah, 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 but put your actual answers, and you're going to see how music and math and art can connect together to make one incredible masterpiece. Some of you may have watched this video before, but it's, I have watched it a million times, and it's always exciting to see and you'll get to learn how the uh, rock band created the video as well. So again, make sure it's turned in. It should be marked as turned in, which looks like an automatic feature now. Um, and you'll be ready for class next week. So it's good to see you all. And let me know if you have questions.